Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 10th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun the past 48 hours, 304 angstroms, yet another strong M class solar flare. We've seen multiple M class and one X class the last three days on our star solar cycle 25 ramping up intensely here having a look at the last 48 hours incoming this is where we see the most recent m-class solar flare right there equatorial region cresting in and as well multiple sunspots turning away x-class solar flare there on the right hand side and multiple solar filaments erecting from the surface of our sun. Another look here at the X-class solar flare and pointing out the last 48 hours of events. We also did have an Earth-facing event there, equatorial region. And there are no real major coronal holes to be concerned with right now. We do have the diminished coronal hole in the southern hemisphere still. But other than that, not much to talk about for that. Just some amazing images of our sun thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide. Looking at 171 angstroms at the active nine sunspot regions. And we did just have Earth facing events. So space weather is on its way. Having a look at the sunspot regions in fluid motion here. That center sunspot is destabilizing current space weather conditions. Right now, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected, and as well, an S2, solar radiation storm impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in right now, 347 kilometers per second, and they've been steady around there between that and 430. Solar X-ray flux here showing X-class and three strong M-class solar flares the past 48 hours. Solar proton flux right up there into the S2 range after that long duration flare and geomagnetic activity is low for now. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center, their space weather spiral here prediction we do have space weather heading our way 12th into the 13th of february and into the 14th with what we can see here are multiple cmes heading towards our planet one two and those are visible on lasco three so amazing images coming out of there today Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing the most recent CME taking off towards Earth. Earth is the little yellow circle on the right-hand side of all that energy leaving from the center, which is the Sun. Expected arrival 12th into the 13th of February. Now let's have a look at LASCO 2, showing this cosmic energy coming our way. Boom, boom, boom. Three sizable CMEs coming out from our sun today, the past two days, one there, X-class solar flare. And look at all that static and interference, solar radiation, and then two more CMEs taking off from our sun. Amazing images. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as it's still above average, sizable 5.8 earthquake reported in the Philippines, Tungayo, 5.8 magnitude, as well as 5.4 and a 4.6. Notable 4.7 there in Marizo Village, Guam. 4.7 earthquake, 212 kilometer depth. That is the deepest the past 24 hours. And as well, notable activity here inside Japan on the island today. Yesterday, a couple earthquakes on either side, north and south. Just give you a quick glance at the last few days through the region. 
Seems pretty quiet, but we did have a volcanic eruption. 4.8 earthquake there, Ustakan, Russia, and as well a 4.9 Afghanistan reported. 4.4 here in Djibouti, Africa, Somalia region, and as well a 4.2 earthquake here reported in Italy. Very quiet South American plate, 4.5 there, Peru, 4.4 towards Guatemala. And then we get to the United States where we're seeing the increasing activity. And as reported here with daily events worldwide, 4.1 earthquake here at Petrolia, California, and a 3.4 reported in Truckee. Notable activity all through Los Angeles Basin and Malibu, California. Notable earthquake there, Richwood, West Virginia. USGS reporting 312 earthquakes the past 24 hours, and that is above average. Quick look here at the Malibu region. Yesterday, that started with a 4.7 earthquake. Seen about 27 earthquakes through the region. And as well, notable activity there off and throughout Los Angeles. Minor at best. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for shakers around the world. We did see the earthquake increase as forecasted here with daily events. The 6.1 earthquake, New Zealand yesterday, and that crazy 5.7 earthquake, Hawaii. It's got to be the largest they've seen in quite some time. Lots of movement across the Pacific plate right now, and it's coming in waves. So heads up. We've got some more activity coming, I do believe. And much love, everybody. Thank you for watching right now. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Now let's have a look at the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Seven Kaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala. Lots of flood alerts here. Also Popocatépetl Popo in Mexico. Semeru in Indonesia. Santa Maria in Guatemala, Tocono in Indonesia, and as well Ibu, Merapi in Indonesia. And I think there was a sizable eruption. SO2 content forecast is quite intense. Lots of landslides across California being reported and northward into Washington. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. We had that atmospheric river of moisture Coming off the East Pacific, multiple low pressure systems affecting you guys this week. And look at those long lines of moisture stretching uh, north of the Gulf of Mexico and as well across the Atlantic. Have a look at current satellite imagery across the rest of the world. We do have one tropical cyclone, 12, is alive. Other than that, no major typhoons or cyclones to report. And overlooking Europe, you've got multiple low-pressure systems affecting you right now and will be over the next few days. So lots of moisture and not much sun sunshine for you guys until a little break in the forecast. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast. This is showing SO2 particulates brought to you by our volcanoes around the world. Notable. SO2 coming out of Popocatito in Mexico. And as well, thick particulates heading up into Alaska and BC. From Kamchatka volcanoes that are erupting. And then as I said, there was a pretty big eruption. North Japan, or maybe Eastern Russia. But high SO2 particulates being forecasted here. In the North Pacific. And as well notable all the SO2 swirling around the low pressure system towards New Caledonia, the Aoba volcano. Then overlooking Africa and Europe. Big plume moving through Central Europe right now heading up into Finland and then into the Northern Hemisphere. We're seeing quite a bit of SO2 right now, considering there hasn't been any major eruptions, just the constant 
volcanic eruptions of 40 volcanoes helping to increase this forecast. Now let's have a look at the weather forecast overlooking Europe and Africa. Multiple low pressure systems coming through the 12th into the 13th. High pressure ridge for Valentine's Day. Big low there for the eastern Mediterranean. And then long range forecast showing some strong systems moving in towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. Overlooking North and South America. Two low pressure systems affecting America this week. One of them affecting Canada and the other one affecting the eastern seaboard. And then we have an Alberta clipper here forming in the long range forecast with some cold air moving in behind that. Watch for some extreme weather here to develop in the long range through the Gulf and as well through California. Big low moving through and Ontario will be seeing a winter storm. Blizzard like conditions. Long range forecast. So winter is definitely not over yet. Then overlooking Australia and Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones forecast here, but still one, two, three, four, five low pressure systems in the Southern Hemisphere right now. And two of them are pretty strong. One through the South Indian Ocean, one over Northern Territory of Australia. Let's have a quick glance here at our polar vortex showing our upper level winds, which depicts our pretty much where our North Pole is where all the winds are spinning around the center, which seems to be north of Siberia, versus the southern hemisphere. And then pretty much when we get into summertime, our North Pole will look like that, and the South Pole will look like this. It's been an interesting year so far, and 2023 was quite a year. So 2024, are you ready for more? I know I am. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.